We can continue doing the export <coughs> as we are able to identify the gardens that have the most. Uh, the self imposed the, the impact of the self imposed ban is uh, evaluated. The ministry maybe could increase their capacity and try to undertake this very important activity in a shorter period of time. Maybe a month. We can hold These are some of the objections raised by exporters to the suggestion by government of a three-month ban on all paper exports to allow for thorough investigation and inspection of farms and park houses. According to the Minister of Trade and Industry, Amelia Chambade, the Ugandan embassy in Brussels has, since February 2014, notified the Trade Ministry of the interception of plants and plant products exported from Uganda to various countries in the European Union. As such, the Ministries of Trade and Agriculture suggested a three-month ban on all paper exports as sufficient time to clean house, a suggestion exporters and farmers feel is unnecessary and destructive to the industry and might yield no positive results given a similar three-month self-imposed ban late 2014 yielded no results. There has to be a self, and I mean a shared responsibility in terms of how we can approach this issue and get the correct information which should be passed directly to the farmer who is implementing. Because as information moves from one party to another to another, it gets distorted. And I believe that most of the farmers do not actually know what to do, not because they are not interested, but because they are not getting this information. After much debate, the ministries relented and pushed the ban from three to one month. The peace for making sure that the quality is right, for making sure the health of the product is right. We do agree that three months is a long time. And um, we have, we said here, decided that we reduce it to one month. But as you presented, I could see you are totally detached. There is no value chain. You are totally detached from your farmers. Why? So how will you apply the principle of traceability when you have no attachment with your farmers? So I feel, just like the commissioner mentioned, that at least if you could give them knowledge, information, because for you, you are fortunate to access the internet, but this farmer is not able to do so. So once you have information on the requirements and all that, you'll be able to communicate to your farmers. So I think you need... However, if the phytosanitary issues and presence of harmful products like African cotton leafworm, false codling moth, trioza SSP and other organisms including fruit flies raised are not addressed by government, the European Union threatens to impose a ban on Ugandan exports to its market if the phytosanitary impediment is not resolved, which is bound to cost the country approximately 63.900 million US dollars. In a separate development, exporters have been cautioned against concealing narcotics in their exports. Narcotics are put inside the mayoni and then the super glue uses to cover the, the mayoni again with the other mayoni which has been cut out. We, we got that from the airport. Please, that one will be criminal. The ministries also plan to develop a traceability system in which produce can be traced back to the exporter and subsequently to the farm from which such produce should have originated to restore the credibility of Uganda's exports to the European Union. The ban takes effect midnight the 4th of May 2015.